Good morning, Snowflake High School. Welcome to this morning's Lobo Howl. I'm Mr. Wood, and with me today is my most precious gem, McKay. Dad, I'm adopted. <laughs> no, he's not adopted. He looks almost as good looking as I am. Anyways, today's episode is on uh, teachers versus students. Really? Kind of like old versus woke? Dad, I'm not sure you old people know what that means. <laughs> let's, let's see what old people think. All right. <laughs> Guys, what's up? I'm Jace. And I'm Hallie. And in this segment, we're going to be using slang words from today. And from a long time ago. And we're going to use them in sentences, and teachers and students have to figure out what they mean. <laughs> Gag me with a spoon. What do you think, what do you think means? that means? I guess, like, someone's really disgusted with something or really annoyed with someone. They're just like, gag me with a spoon. Yeah, that, was actually, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Mr. Miller, your word is simp. So like, Yeshua, you were such a simp. Okay. What do you think it means? Like abbreviation for simpleton. <laughs> That's cute. not not really. What do, what do you think it means? Doesn't it mean like a guy who's like obsessed with his girlfriend? Yeah, a guy who does way too much for the girl he likes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Godfrey, your slang word is gas. So like, that food is gas. Uh, upset your stomach. That's actually that's actually good. Guess. <laughs> Derek, what does it mean? Gas? Yeah, like, what does it mean? Uh, something that's cool and it's awesome. Yeah, like really oh. good. Yo, that shirt is gas, bro. <laughs> is that really what it means? Yeah. Okay. Gas it up, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Derek's word is veg out. Like, Sarah, you need a veg out. What's probably, like? probably like to venture out. Uh uh. Dang it. So, Gaffer, do you know what, what veg out means? Yeah. I should know what veg out means. Um. Yeah, yeah. Really? Right, well, chill out, <laughs> calm down. Oh, uh -huh. well, that's you're it. Up, you're up. We're here with Mr. Merrill. And Morgie. And um, this is Mr. Merrill's word, funk. Funk. What does funk mean? Yeah. What does funk mean? Well, sometimes my classes are in a funk. They don't talk. They don't do a whole lot. Okay. Kind of a kind of a bad moment or a bad time period of funk. Fun. I'm committed. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Morgan's phrase is bodacious. What does that mean, Morgan? Uh, I know there was a bull named bodacious, that's all I know. Okay. Smear, what does bodacious mean? Just like awesome or cool. Coach Johnson, your word is cap. So like, uh, Pablo, stop the cap. Well, I got no clue. <laughs> I've never heard that in that uh, sentence. What do, you, what, do you, what does it mean? Um, cap basically just means like the, the nonsense, the BS for lack of a better term. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Good job. Okay, and Justin's phrase is Ralph. So. Put it in a sentence. <laughs> yeah, what does you it mean? You make me want a Ralph. You yeah, make you. me want a Ralph. It means I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> That's so. I, I love it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are here with Mr. Prestwich. Mr. Prestwich, this is your word. Gas. What do you think it means? Gas is what I put in my car to make it go. I mean, it, you could do that. Um, it means it means really good. So like, like that food was gas. Like that was gas. That food was so good. Gas is good when my car goes. <laughs> and we're here with Tommy, and this is Tommy's word. Uh, I guess that's a vegetable that's out. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's not. And veg out means like chill. So like Tommy, veg out. Chill, brother. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it looks like the kids won that whole word thing, but, you know, in your woke society, McKay, what else is kind of making a comeback today? I still don't think you know what that means, but uh, dad jokes coming back. Dad jokes? Yeah. You know, it's kind of ironic that McKay would bring that up, because me being a dad, I'm kind of a serious guy, and McKay knows a lot of dad jokes. Let's see what you got for a dad joke. Uh, why, do, why do cows have hooves? Why do cows have hooves? I, I don't know. Why do cows have hooves? Because they lack toes. <laughs> they lack lactose, like like lactose intolerant. That's the problem with this generation is they've got lactose intolerant and and they can't eat bread and they they've got all these sorts of things. When I was a kid, you'd go out and milk that cow. Right? You ever seen the star on the bottom of a cow's teat? Did no. you know they were called teats? I think I did, yeah. Oh, well, hey, just in case you're wondering, lactose, I mean, milk was great and we would make ice cream because it was just utterly delicious. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Well, hey, let's see what kind of dad jokes you guys got. Old versus new or adult versus student. Let's see who's got the best dad jokes. Ah, uh, my best dad joke. 
What do you call a snake that loves to build a house? What? A bow constructor. How do you get a country girl's attention? How? A tractor. No, that one's a well. So a brother and sister are working in a lab. She turns and steps on his foot and he says, Ah, mitosis. <laughs> what did the ocean say to the beach? What? He nothing, he just waved. <laughs> what has two feet but can't walk? What? A 24 inch snake. Get it? Because 24 inches. Singing in the shower is fun until you get soap in your mouth. Then it's a soap opera. <laughs> what do a tick and the Eiffel Tower have in common? They're both parasites. So, so, who's got the bronze? Like, we are here to pump you up. Who, who said that? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, wow. McKay's actually educated for the old school stuff. Cereal, you know? Um, so, I guess we better find out who's stronger here. Like, man strength versus boy strength, you right? Call me a boy. Boy. Okay. Yeah, something like that. So, don't, don't be surprised at the, the bicep that's coming up here. Come on, McKay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's gonna lose, that's why he's laughing already. Ready? Mark Set. Huge. Go. No! No! What is up, everybody? I am Sam, and I will be your commentator today for this teacher versus students arm wrestling match between Mr. Franco, the teacher, and all of these students as his competitors. And there's no movement. Oh, Mr. Franco's still going. And he is looking at the camera as well. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. Oh. And, uh,. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 no. Oh. It was three and two, two losses, but I still had three wins, so. It's a good day. Well, there you have it with our coverage of this teachers versus students match. Thanks for watching and back to you guys at the studio. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, McKay, I think this has been a pretty good competition. Teachers versus students. Right? You know, students, like we wouldn't even have a job if it wasn't for students. But I guess if you look at it, we got some pretty great students here at Snowflake High School. You know, our teachers are pretty great too. If it wasn't for them, our futures wouldn't be as bright. Hey, well, tune in next week for the Lobo Health. Thanks for coming and joining us this week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>